PeachTools.com. G'day my friends, Pete from Peach Tools here again. Another beautiful day on my side of the world. Hey, what the old gets going on about today is this here, a gas flow meter. Do you know what the hell a gas flow meter is? A lot of you guys are using the old gas regulators on your welding setup. I prefer a gas flow meter and on this video guys, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what a gas flow meter does. Yeehaw! Oh, cold here today guys. Winter time. Snow on the hills out there. Woo! Anyway guys, same as usual. Like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below if you want. And let's get into it, eh? Why not, Pete? <laughs> so guys, if you notice on this, this is a lot different to a normal regulator. You know, a normal regulator, you've also got another one of these. You've got two gauges, basically. And you've just got a dial here, the same as this. But you've got one gauge on one side and another gauge on the other side. Here, I haven't actually got one in the workshop. But here, have a look at this. See, this side here tells you how much pressure you've got left in your tank. So in other words, how much more gas you've got in your tank. And this one here tells you how much pressure is coming out of the end of your um, welding torch when you pull the trigger, how much gas is coming out. But as you can see on mine, mine's got the scale that goes up and down and it with, a, with a little ball on it. And it's actually easier to read than this. So as you can see, guys, this one here is a bit different to that because not only have we only got one gauge, but we've got this fancy looking doodah thing here as well. Anyway, I'll turn the machine on, guys, and I'll show you what this does. I like this better for the simple fact that it gives you a real idea of how much gas you've got going to your torch head. Whereas the other one, it just shows you how many pounds are in the tank on one gauge, like I showed you. And then on the other one, the pressure going into your welding torch head. And uh, I prefer to see, basically, because I'm a little bit thick. <laughs> I like to see how much gas is actually flowing through to my welding head. So let's turn this on, guys. And if you notice when I turn this on, we've virtually got no pressure at all in this tank. So that means the tank is virtually empty. But we've still got enough that we're going to raise the ball here. This thing here has got a ball in it. And when you pull the trigger on your on your welding torch, like so, you watch here, you'll see the ball going up and down. See that? And you can adjust to how much you want. And that's why I like it, because it tells you how many millilitres per second are going into your torch head. And that just gives me a better idea rather than looking at a static gauge on the other sort that I showed you before. So when I'm just welding mild steel, guys, I like to have it about, well, anywhere between about 6 and 10 millilitres, because I find that works out best for me. But once you've been using it a little while, you get to know exactly, and you'll be able to dial it in exactly where you need it. And it's really easy to do, because you've got the gauge here, and you got, and you can actually see the pressure. Whereas the other one, you can't actually see a moving gauge, it's just the static pressure. Here, I'll show you. So if I was to set that to zero, like so, the ball's down the bottom, and I pull the trigger, and I can slowly increase it, see, six, 10, 15, and like about the center there. So every time you set up your welder, you can go straight to that setting again, which is pretty awesome, I think, anyway. And also, guys, I'm running CO2 here, and CO2 in New Zealand is quite expensive to buy, so the less gas that we use, the better as far as I'm concerned. Because you know me by now, if you watched any of my videos, I'm bloody cheap. Yeah. So guys, I've got the flow meter set at about 6, like I showed you before. I'll just run a beta weld here, and you can actually see that it still welds properly, even with that little gas. And that's why I like it. Like I said before, I like to see exactly how much gas is coming in the nozzle of my torch. That way you don't waste anything, because, you know, you know me, I'm as cheap as chip Pete. Yeah! Too hot there, Pete. I think you burned a hole in the steel. That just shows you guys, you know, we're still getting penetration even with that least amount of gas. Well, let's turn that down and try again, guys. Not quite enough this time, guys, but you get the general rule of thumb. You know, you can weld on pretty well virtually no gas at all. Well, I'm using CO2, but you know what I mean anyway. 
And uh, like I say guys, we're not welding ships together. We're just sticking shit together in our workshop, so it doesn't really matter if it's not 100% penetrated. I mean, your life's not going to depend on it. So guys, that's about enough bullshit from Pete for the day. <laughs> that was short and sweet, not like my normal videos where I'll go on and on and on and on. And So guys, that's about it for this video. More shit you didn't really need to know, but I just thought I'd let you know about the flow meters. Because a lot of you guys don't have a flow meter, you're still using the other sort of regulator. Anyway, enough crap from Pete. And remember, if you like what you see, you know I say thanks in the thank you button below. Drop us a comment. Come say good day. We can have a bit of a yarn. See you next time. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe as well. Bye. Peachtools.com.